Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, there you have it. Only got that one shot inside the doctor's office of that, me holding that foot. Uh, the, the bones, I really want to buy one of those. I don't know where you pick up a foot, but I, just to learn the bones of the, our feet. Our feet are really so, so critical as runners. So I think I'm going to have to investigate uh, <laughs> purchasing a foot at some point. And I will give you the full status report on what the doctor uh, said and what the game plan is moving forward for training and for basically the next step in the next transition in getting back to running. So uh, that'll be here soon. But uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, this is our apartment that True Love and I, it's right next door to the doctor's office. So uh, this is where we first lived after we got married. Anyway, just a little, little walk down memory lane, if you will, if you will. All right, onward and upward. All right, there it is. Just getting in from the carport, just outside the studio here. Keyword is walk, because I got to walk. That's right, you saw me take my boot off, put my running shoe on, and go walk. 10 steps out, 10 steps back. All right, what did the doctor say? What did the podiatrist, let me just set these over here. You probably get. You probably have a guess at what he said. So I'm three weeks in now to non-weight bearing activity, meaning ride the scooter, uh, you know, use the crutches all the time, and I'll be 100% transparent. I probably was non-weight bearing 90% of the time. I bet the other 10% I cheated a little bit. You know, whether it was like going to grab my computer charger and the scooter is on the other side of the house, I would, you know, probably 10% of the time over the last three weeks, or like hopping into the pool, I would gingerly, some, sometimes I would not hop and I would put just a little bit of weight on my foot. So I, you know, I'd, I wasn't perfect in listening to completely 100% non-weight bearing. But now, after three weeks, I got the thumbs up to get rid of the crutches and get rid of the scooter. Oh. Yes, and so where do we go from here? What did the podiatrist say? What does the future hold? So we're three weeks in and three weeks to go. I'm not surprised by that uh, prognosis for the future. Basically, his goal, the podiatrist's goal, is to have me completely out of the boot in three weeks. That is now the next goal, the next baby step moving forward. And he said over the next three weeks, I can begin to reintroduce walking in the house to start and then eventually you know going into the post office or walking into the rec center slowly over the next three weeks so like if i do 10 minutes walking around the house uh not tomorrow he said in two days from now so what is today thursday so saturday he said i could walk around the house for 10 minutes in the running shoe and just see how it feels and then put the boot right back on and then two days after that bump it up to 20 minutes walking around the house and then uh, 40 minutes in the boot and slowly build like that over the next three weeks. 
I'm excited. It's a little hard to hear because we're only half, only halfway, but it means we're moving in the right direction. And the, the diagnosis is, is now, a, you know, it's after the MRI. It's definitely the uh, bone bruise, which he said he, there's no sign, like official sign of a stress reaction or a stress fracture. But, and he had tried to explain it to me, I couldn't quite follow it all, but it's all based on different colors in the MRI and the colors that they are seeing in the metatarsals, uh, the second and third metatarsals, he basically described it as like a gray color, meaning that those bones are most like, like they're, they're bruised is how he described it. And uh, I'm not gonna get into all the medical terms that he threw out at me, but that is now the official diagnosis rather than the Liz Frank uh, sprain that he initially had thought before the MRI. And of course, I couldn't resist talking to him about my next peak race. So Cleveland was gonna be the first one of 2019 since that's since that is not happening. And in fact, I'm gonna be fascinated to see the, the official results of Cleveland. Ah, oh, it's gonna be interesting to see them. But uh, the next peak race, August 24th, the Pikes Peak Ascent, a 13, a half marathon at 13.1 miles up a 14,000 foot mountain. Could not be more excited about that race, but of course, gotta be patient, gotta be smart. Remember, I said this in yesterday's vlog. You know, okay, lesson number two is this training block was too long in retrospect. Listen, I took two weeks off at Christmas. I'm proud of that. I always take two weeks off, just a complete reset. I love it. It's just like, lets the body completely reset. But I started running January 1st. That's right, I'm gonna shorten up the next training block. Meaning instead of, well, like the last one being about 20 weeks, it's gonna be about 12, well, we'll see, about 10 to 12 weeks, depending on when I am out of the boot. And also, I can't just train, train, train. I love training, I love running big miles, big volume, but I've also got a race. I've got a race. And after races, what do I do? I take a little bit of downtime. So I think it's gonna be healthy over the next June, July, August, leading up to the Pikes Peak Ascent. I need to mix in some baby races. Uh, yeah, I just, I gotta get out there a little bit more so that, and I know racing can be intense on the body. I realize that, but I can't just go out and hit high volume all the time, threshold runs, and yeah, yeah, it's anyway, that's another topic, but I'm excited for the Pikes Peak Ascent training, which I believe will begin in three weeks from now. So can we do it? Yes, we can. We're gonna get through this three more weeks. Okay, the vlog is not over. The boys and I, we're gonna go out and do some errands together. I'm gonna do a little bit of baby walking in the boot, no scooter, pretty exciting stuff. And then, uh, oh yeah, question of the day, I'm just gonna ask it now. So instead of, again, I don't wanna dwell on injuries all the time, here's the question of the day. I like it a lot and it's kinda crazy and you're probably gonna have to stop and think about it. Um, it, it this is good, it's, it's good to think about. And especially if you are helping someone else with crewing a race or if you have friends, family, coaches attending your races. Anyway, here it is. What, in five words or less, what would you love to hear in the last mile of a race? Whether it's a marathon, half marathon, if it's a mile race, let's just say the last quarter mile of the race. In five words or less, and basically I, I put that limit on it because uh, it's hard to comprehend more than two, three, four words. So I'm gonna put a five word limit. So you gotta, you gotta get creative. What words of encouragement or of a kick in the pants or whatever you want, whatever you need in the last mile of a big peak race for you, what would you like to hear from your friends, your family members, your coach, uh, your teammates, what have you? What would help you run a fast last mile? All right, I can't wait to read these uh, answers to the question of the day. All right, we're out, heading to the nursery. Let's do this. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. All right, boys, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Why, why can't we step into it? Wait, wait, one second. Butter my bread, butter my bread.
good haul, good haul of flowers, all right. For those that have been watching the vlog a long time, you know that I enjoy gardening. I've got a little bit of a green thumb. Shout out to my mom, she gave it to me. I love, it's just like a nice way for me to chill out, listen to a baseball game, and uh, try and distract myself a little bit from this here uh, boot, boot down there. But again, good news today from the doctor visit, so that is always a bonus to be moving in the, the right direction. Uh, in theory, in 21 days from now, we potentially could be getting some running back on this running YouTube family channel, all right? So that is the goal, 21 days. But uh, I know it could be longer. I know it also, the doctor said it could be shorter as well. It all depends on where I'm at in the recovery process. So the bottom line, no more crutches, no more scooter, and that is a good thing. All right, that is it for tonight from the carport. Already recorded in the studio. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.